Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. We got a brand new brand on the channel, the Team Corelli Dementor. Super excited about this. This is my very first Team Corelli vehicle. Have not looked at one of these before, so I am super excited about checking this thing out. So what is it? A 1-8 scale brushless powered stunt truck. So something very similar to like an Outcast or Notorious from Arma. Uh, Team Corelli came out with a whole line of 6S 1-8 scale vehicles about a year ago. Those were like the V1 versions. They did have some durability concerns. So they did make some updates for 2021. So these are essentially the V2 version. So uh, first off, big shout out to Euro RC for uh, supporting the channel. We've been working with them for the last few months. Things have been working out really well. So super happy to provide uh, this unboxing for you from them. We do have a 5% off coupon code. So definitely check that out. That is in the description below. And they do carry pretty much everything that, you know, I personally would be interested in. They got bashers, they got race kits, they got on-road, off-road, all kinds of cool stuff. Definitely carry like all the major brands, Team Associated, Team Corelli, Arma, Yokomo, X-Ray, and brands like Tamiya. So first off, uh, let's do a little quick unboxing. What the heck? Okay, I guess that didn't work. I must have done something wrong, but uh, we'll take a look at the box here. First off, here's what the vehicle actually looks like. So it's pretty much like a short course or a scale style uh, chassis, you know, kind of a short wheelbase chassis. And then it's got the long arms like a truggy, the big tires. They do make two versions of this. They got the Dementor. They also have the Jambo, I think it's called. Uh, pretty much the same vehicles with just different tires and bodies. The Dementor had the tires that I liked a little bit better. So did go with that option. And uh, looking at the box, Here's some nice little uh, information about there. 16 millimeter aluminum shock absorbers, including the shock caps, I believe. Aluminum center differential, pretty dang nice. Uh, steel drive shafts, of course, heavy duty arms. Uh, they got these new skid plates, front and rear, rubber sealed bearings, take a note, Arma, and then uh, CNC machined differential gears, front and rear, and obviously in the center as well, as well as CNC machined shock tires, four millimeters up front, five millimeters in the rear. I believe everything on this truck is 60-61 aluminum, except for the Ackerman plate, which is 70-75. And then uh, what else we got here on the side? Not much going on there. The other side, you can kind of see, uh, that's what the radio looks like. Very powerful motor and ESC. I believe this is a rebranded Hobby Wing, uh, what they call the Vario Prop 25 kilogram servo, and some little technical specs on the length, width, height, and all that stuff. So, Team Corelli is a brand out of Belgium. Uh, they are pretty much known for more of their like on road stuff, um, but they I, they do have some other bashers, 10 scale stuff, two wheel drive stuff like the Mammoth. But uh, they kind of came out with a bang about a year ago. Looked like they were trying to take on Arma head on. Pretty much priced their vehicles uh, about you know $50 less than the competition. I think these were about $500 when they got released about a year ago. They did increase the price to $550, but then Arma also increased their prices up to like $570, $580. I think the latest V5 uh, Armas are going for. So yeah, that's what uh, we got going on there. Let's pop the box open here. Okay, we got it out of the box and this is what you get inside the vehicle. A uh, little bag with the manual for the vehicle as well as the radio manual. And then it looks like just a little antenna tube, nothing too exciting there. I believe it is a black and white manual. So uh, they you know, didn't spend a whole ton of money on the manual. Uh, this is the radio, the S2R 2.4 gigahertz digital radio. So let's take a look inside. Looks like uh, four double A's, foam wheel, actually fairly, uh, a little bit of slop in there. Uh, trigger is very light. Steering reversing, uh, throttle reversing, bind button, a little LED for the on button. It does actually have trim knobs, so that's really interesting. I wonder if that actually does trim. And then up top looks like some kind of maybe throttle limiter, not really sure and then an on off button here in the back. So yeah, S2R radio, don't know much about this. A little bit of a rubberized grip. Feels okay, really long trigger pull. Uh, fairly large wheel, but you know, for an RTR, as long as it works, 
pretty much no problem there. So here's the body. Uh, they did change the paint scheme up a little bit for 2021. I do think it looks a ton better. It's like a matte black and then kind of a two-tone paint. It's actually orange and red flames and then kind of a grayed out wheels and then they got the Team Corrali garage uh, stickers on there, the skull. So this is the Dementor which I guess they are T, uh, Harry Potter fans or something like that. A uh, very large wing, uh, a mono wheelie bar here in the back. Tires are very similar to something like uh, Badlands or uh, Backflips or something like that. You know, sort of the squared off lugs. Uh, feel really nice actually. Sort of shiny black wheels. Uh, aluminum hexes with aluminum uh, nuts as well. Feels really good. Kind of a roll cage here on the back of the bed. Uh, body is cut out pretty substantially there in the back. Uh, feels like kind of medium weight, not super thick. Uh, does have some reinforcements there for the roll bar as well as little uh, body clip retainers. But nice looking body. I gotta say it's kind of like a Ford, you know, sort of a 50s Ford pickup truck. With the old paint job, I thought it looked kind of ugly, but with the new paint job, I do like the red and black. Looks pretty cool. Here's the actual vehicle. Let's kind of take a look uh, inside. So the Curon 825 motor, I believe it's a 2050 KV uh, four pole motor. I think it's a uh, 40 by 70 or 40 by 68. Someone uh, correct me on the size, but a uh, really nice looking motor. Very much looks like, like Hobby Wing electronics. Um, you know, it's kind of got the red Max 8 looking ESC with the big power button, Velcro straps, XT90 uh, connector, so it's got two of those. I'll probably swap them out for EC5 or IC5. Nice little receiver box there. Um, and then the servo there, uh, kind of at an angle. Interesting, it does have, actually have angled dog bones, so they do not go straight down the middle. That generally is used to kind of tune the front and rear uh, power distribution. It does have the uh, pillow ball suspension, of course. All aluminum shocks with threaded shock collars, sway bars front and rear, these big oversized uh, bumpers, easy access discs it looks like, four millimeter shock tower, aluminum, a uh, couple of spacers there for adjustable camber. Really long steel drive shafts, fairly thick arms. Pretty much standard looking up front, non-adjustable turnbuckles, not a big deal. Uh, looks like the toe and everything is pretty much maybe zero degrees, maybe negative one degrees. Tiny bit of uh, camber, maybe negative one degrees, maybe zero degrees, uh, maybe zero degrees of camber actually. Uh, body mounts look pretty nice. So they did make some updates basically to add some more durability. They do have aluminum uh, hinge pin braces. Uh, they did reinforce the chassis braces because they were fairly thin and people were bending chassis as well as breaking these little uh, plastic braces. Um, they did switch to the non-adjustable camber links. Not a huge deal. Uh, I think they did redesign the wing mount um, and I'm trying to think anything else. Yeah, oh, and the aluminum uh, Ackerman bar as well as kind of a reinforced uh, upper brace there on the vehicle. So uh, a lot of people thought these were copies of Arma's and I'll admit, when I first saw this thing, it looked, <laughs> pretty much every vehicle looked like it was going to be an Arma copy, and they, it almost seemed like they were copying the name. But, um, you know, looking at this with the race heritage of Team Cruella, I think this is actually a really nice looking vehicle, much higher quality than uh, I would have thought at first glance. So these things actually look pretty darn nice. I believe it's got adjustable uh, servo saver there, aluminum servo horn. And then anything else? I believe it's steel uh, gears here on the center differential as well as the pinion there. They do have kind of these nice little uh, aluminum washers here underneath the screws, kind of add some more durability. And then, uh, you know, a pretty nice electronics package. A lot of people think this is faster than the Armory equivalent, so we'll have to see. Supposedly a pretty good motor and ESC combo, so definitely looking forward to seeing that. Uh, yeah, general, you know, overall, oh, they got nice little uh, steel sway bars, a little aluminum nut there on the back. So, yeah, pretty much Team Corelli is a race brand. Two shock locations on the rear, three up top. Probably could pick up different sway bars or pick up a different brand, see if they uh, mount right up. Um, no adjustments here on the... 
uh, upper arms for different roll centers. What else we got? Yeah, pretty much standard type stuff. The layout of the body or the chassis is a little bit different than an armor. The armor generally has the servo up front uh, and then the ESC and then the motor and then the battery all the way on the other side. They do relocate the ESC all the way here in the back so you can fit a fairly large motor even on this uh, short chassis. Uh, but overall, yeah, nice looking kit, a uh, little wing mount as well. What do you call this, a uh, sort of wing retainer there? Yeah, overall pretty impressive. I don't think this is a budget Arma at all, you know. That's what I first thought when I saw these Team Corelli vehicles come out. I thought they were you know, trying to be kind of a cheapo knockoff of Arma, but I actually think this is just a head-to-head -head competitor. Quality-wise, it looks as nice, probably actually higher quality in my opinion um, from what I'm seeing. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Check out your RC. We do have that 5% off coupon code. And take care. We'll talk to you next time.